Hi guys, it's Luzikil. In this video, I will go through an in-depth guide about the new companion move-in feature in the Serenity port function of Genshin Impact. This move-in feature can be classified into two categories, Companionship EXP, which I will refer to as Friendship EXP, and the next category which is Companion Furnishing Sets. The structure of this video will be introducing the Friendship EXP feature, then the Companion Furnishing Sets feature. And lastly, I will share a useful tool to help you get started, so please stay tuned. I will be adding timestamps in the form of questions in the description below, so if you are already familiar, but you have a specific question, maybe your question is covered and you can click directly to it. Let's begin! If you already have the Serenity port function unlocked by the release of patch 1.6, you would have received a quest called Idle Teapot Talk. Head over to Tabi in your teapot and complete it to receive a Realm Dispatch item. Once you have it, open up your editor and navigate to your companion tab. Now you can start placing your characters into the realm. As each character takes up quite a lot of load, I have purposely opened up an empty area in order to place them. The number of characters that you can place in the realm scales along with your trust rank. Therefore, the maximum number of characters you can place is 8 at trust rank 10. So I've already placed 4, let me place another 4. Razor, uh, maybe Kaya, and Barbara. Let's hit save. After placing your very first character, you can unlock the honored guest of the realm achievement and claim 5 primo gems. Next, you can speak to Tabi and click on Trust Rank. Notice that your characters are now listed under Companions Hosted and you can click this gift box to claim the Friendship EXP. The level of purple in this icon roughly indicates how much Friendship EXP has accumulated for you to collect. Let's click it. The little purple numbers that appears above your character icons indicate the Friendship level of your characters. After claiming, Click on the gift box icon again to view your EXP per hour rate as well as your maximum capacity. The rate and capacity scales with your trust rank as well. In case you're wondering, yes, this friendship EXP is the same one that you receive from doing daily commissions, ley lines, bosses, and domains. Now here are the characters that we've placed. If we speak to them, they will have chat interactions for us. The number of chat interactions scales with the character's friendship level. At Friendship Level 1, they will have 2 chat interactions. At Friendship Level 4, they will unlock one more, so that's 3 chat interactions. And lastly, at Friendship Level 7, they will unlock the last one and have all 4 chat interactions. By unlocking chat interactions, we can complete the Fireside Chats achievement, where we get 5 Primo Gems for unlocking 10 chats, 10 Primo Gems for unlocking 20 chats, and 20 Primo Gems for unlocking 30 chats. That's all we need to know about Friendship EXP in the teapot. Let's talk about Companion Furnishing Sets next. Companion Furnishing Sets are a template group of individual furnishings that allows you to invite characters into them. They are both indoors and outdoors sets. They can be bought from the Realm Depot under Furnishing Blueprints. If you scroll all the way down in the description of a set, it will state which characters it is for. So for Dawn Orchard, it is for Diluc, Kea, Fenty, and Rosaria. After purchasing, open the editor and click on Outdoor Sets. Click on these gift set icons to view all the outdoor companion furnishing sets that you've bought. The same goes for indoor sets as well. You can click on the information button to view the individual furnishings that this set requires, as well as which characters this set is for. Let's place this. Click on save and close. Have you noticed something? Diona is here. Characters that can be invited into a set is restricted to the same characters that you've placed in the realm. It does not matter whether you've placed the character indoors or outdoors. As long as they are in the realm, you can invite them into the set. If there are corresponding characters already in the realm when you place the set for the very first time, 
the characters will automatically be invited into the set, as is the case for Diona here. Let's chat with Diona. After chatting with the character, you will be gifted 20 Primo Gems, Mora and Materials. This is a one-time occurrence. Once the conversation is over and the character will leave, the next applicable character will be automatically invited. Let's repeat the process. So you see, Razor is automatically here. Let's chat with Razor. Primo Gems, Mora, as well as Talent Books. After collecting the gift, you can open up the editor, click on Outdoor Set, Gift Set icon, as well as the information button of the set that you've placed. The characters that you have already collected the Primo Gems from should have a tick on the icons. Now you can see here that Amber is also part of this set. Let's see whether she is automatically invited. She's nowhere to be found. The reason is because I did not place her into the realm. So let's change that. Open up the editor. Go to the area that I've placed the characters. Let's say I remove Lisa. Relax. Companion. Ember. Save. There she is. So we can have a chat with her. Ta-da! Primo Gems. There are situations where you are unable to collect the 20 Primo Gems and I'll show you how to fix it. The example I'm using will be Barbara and just to show you over here, she is already dispatched into the realm. Okay, so let's say I want to place a set outside first and then place another one inside, then collect the Primo Gems after. So I'll place a Bird and Blossom Park that is for Barbara. Perfect. Then let me place one more inside. I'll go in. Over here, I want to place Amidst Whispering Winds. That's also for Barbara. So let's place it. Save. Close. Now, Barbara is not here. And as I showed you earlier, I've already dispatched her into the realm. So let me try to manually invite her. You can do so by clicking F on the invite function. The error message that you will receive is please collect the gifts you currently have. If you see a character that says not yet settled, that means you did not place them into the realm or you do not have that character. So for this one, right? It just means that Barbara is already invited somewhere else and I'll need to collect at that area first before coming over here. So let's head on outside. And there we have it, Barbara is right over here at Bird and Blossom Park. Alright, so now let's head back inside. Barbara should be right there. Here we go. So over here it will say gift event has yet to be completed. That means that I'm able to collect the Primo Gems from her now. Alright, so have you guys noticed another thing? I have just collected 20 Primo Gems from Barbara twice. Currently, as of patch 1.6, each character has two corresponding companion furnishing sets. That means that each character that you own can receive up to 40 Primo Gems once. On top of the Primo Gems that the characters give, we also get Primo Gems by completing the Gifts All Around achievement for collecting gifts from the characters invited into their sets. We can get 5 Primo Gems from receiving 5 gifts, 10 Primo Gems from receiving 10 gifts, 
and 20 Primo Gems from receiving 20 gifts. After you have completed all three achievements, you would be able to unlock this name card. It's called the Achievement Vacation Home Name Card. Now in case you are overwhelmed and do not know which companion furnishing sets to buy and build first, I have just the thing for you. I have created a spreadsheet that prioritizes which sets to build first according to the characters that you own, so that you can collect your 20 Primo Gems earlier. All you have to do is click the link in the description below, it will open up this spreadsheet. Next you go to File, Make a Copy, make sure the folder is My Drive and click OK. This is the most important step because if you don't do that, you will not be able to edit the spreadsheet. Now, this page teaches you how to do the spreadsheet, but since I'm here, I'll guide you through it. Step number one is to go to Characters tab, and you can see all the characters inside the game. Start by checking the checkboxes of the characters that you own. I do not have Eula. I do not have Mona. I do not have Hu Tao, Ganyu, or Titi. Sorry, I don't have Rosaria as well, cannot check that. Don't have Tataglia, Venti, and Xiao. Alright, so these are all the characters that I have. Next, we can click on Companion Furnishing Sets. I will explain to you from the leftmost column all the way to the right column. So on the left column, you will say Indoor and Outdoor. Next, it says Companion Furnishing Sets. So these are all the sets that we have according to whether they are indoors or outdoors. Thirdly, this is the priority column with number 1 being the highest priority and number 15 being the lowest priority. Let's look for number 1. So my number 1 priority will be Glittering Street because by constructing it, right, I'll be able to get Primo Gems from Ke Qing, Ningguang, Xingqiu, Yanfei and Zhongli. 5 of them, that's like 100 Primo Gems. On the other end, priority number 15 is Tsingse Cloud Residence because I do not have Hu Tao, Titi or Xiao, I will only be able to collect 20 Primo Gems from Xingyan. That's why in my highest priority will be Glittering Street, lowest priority will be Tsingse Club Residence. Any of the sets that have the same ranking, you can take your time. It does not matter which order you build them in, as long as you do this before heading on to the next rank. Now, characters tab over here. If you notice, there are small checkboxes underneath each character. This is for you to keep track of how many characters you have already collected the 20 Primo Gems from. So, example, I go to Idyllic Town, I, I check the checkboxes for Amber, Diona, as well as Razor. And as you can see, the column for Fully Collected has turned from False to True. Maybe I do so again for Feiyun Study Room, Ningguang, Xingqiu, and Zhongli. So the column for Fully Collected has changed from False to True. Now the very last tab is the Set Required Furnishings. This is just for your reference in case you want to find out the individual furnishings that each set requires. So you can have a look, what do you need to craft, what do you need to build, and stuff like that. I hope this spreadsheet really helps you. Alright, that is all for the Companion Move-In Feature Guide. I hope that it gives you a clearer picture for this feature. If you have further questions, please type them in the comments below. I will try my best to answer them. If this guide has helped you, please kindly leave a like subscribe for future content, and leave a comment on what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone.